Welcome back, Cage Nation. It is Kevin Jacklitz with a Cage Review. And today, the news is all about Mortal Kombat 11. That's right, 11. Mortal Kombat 11 is currently in production, according to Ed Boon himself. Apparently, there was an interview in, I think it was Brazil, where they were asking some pointed questions, and he finally gave up the news that the game has already been started. And if you have not seen the end of Mortal Kombat 10, let me take a minute and show you what happens because it leads directly into what we're going to talk about. Too long have I allowed Earthrealm to endure the horrors of war. Time and again we've defeated our enemies, but we've exacted no retribution, demanded no remuneration. What have we gained for our mercy? More intrigue, more senseless violence. As the new rulers of the Nether Realm, heed me. No longer will I simply defend Earth Realm. I will seek out and destroy all who threaten it. No mercy will be shown, no quarter given. Shinnok was an elder god. Impossible to kill. There are fates worse than death. Okay, so there you have it. You have Liu Kang and Katana are now the rulers of the Nether Realm, and Raiden has just flipped his shit. This is a key point because in Mortal Kombat 11, apparently the main antagonist is actually Raiden himself. Now, if you've ever seen Mortal Kombat Deception, I don't know how many years ago. Um, it was part of the terrible 3D fighting game series for Mortal Kombat. Um, Raiden decides that he's had enough trying to just protect the Earth. And he is going to go after any threat to Earth. And he kind of just goes apeshit with it. He turns into Dark Raiden, becomes evil. And so that's where Mortal Kombat 11 is heading. Now, we do know that it's going to have some returning characters. Some returning characters from the Mortal Kombat games that they haven't done the reboots of yet. And it's also going to have new characters. And I think they said about 10 new characters for the game. Which is very cool. So, we have new stuff to look forward to. It also seems that not necessarily the storyline is going to be borrowed from Deception and Armageddon, but some of the characters and maybe some of the plot points from Deception and Armageddon are going to be put into this game. So, that's another interesting thing to think about because they had a lot of very cool characters coming out of that time. Now, some of the returning characters that have been mentioned, Scorpion of course, Sub-Zero of course, and more than likely, you would have to think that Cassie Cage is going to come back since they kind of pushed her as the super powerful chick, you know, that saved the whole world in the last game. So you would have to imagine that she would come back. Suck on that. Another returning character from an older game that we haven't seen back yet since MK9 is Onaga. And I personally have been wanting to see Onaga again. I think he's a great character, he has a great look to it, he's this huge half-man, half-dragon type. And, you know, in the Deception, he just took up most of the screen when you were fighting him. So, 
I'm really excited to see him come back in this two-day plane and see what they can do with Onaga. Now, I'm really hoping th for some characters in particular. Um, I'm really hoping they bring Blaze back as the big beast form. Uh, I thought that was a really cool look. And with the technology they have for this new PS4 engine, I, I think he would look absolutely amazing. Now, I do understand that they're going to bring Noob Saibot back. And as far as I can recall, that's the only confirmed characters that, well, I say confirmed, but are supposedly confirmed at this point. So that's pretty exciting news. Um, I, I have literally played every single Mortal Kombat game, and I still own them all. From Mortal Kombat 1, Sub-Zero Mythologies, Special Forces, Shaolin Monks, all those little side games and everything in between 1 and 10. And believe me, I have put a lot of money into that collection, especially with the newer games. I've gotten a lot of the special editions, so I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan. I'm a gamer at heart, and my first love has always been Mortal Kombat. So, are you guys as excited about this as I am? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what characters you think they need to bring back or leave out. This has been Kevin Jackets with the Caged Review. Cage Nation out.